I'm going all the way around just to age up. Why could we not age up in the house? Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to another episode of my Star Sign Legacy Challenge. This is episode 16. We're here with Prim this morning. She is actually heading off to work in about half an hour. She is going into work today um, and it is her birthday. Prim is aging up into an adult today, which I can't believe we're there already. She's going to be an adult. Oh, so exciting. But she is going into work today and she's finishing at four, which I didn't think was too bad. She's not there like super long. And Jacob actually isn't in work today. So I thought he could spend the day with uh, Neve and he can work on potentially some of his career stuff and making a cake. I won't forget this time. I forgot for Jacob's birthday until last minute, um, but I won't forget this time. <laughs> with Prim's birthday, she um, she's not gonna have a big party. We might invite over her brother. We might invite over um, Jonah and Tabitha and uh, Layla, um, but we're not gonna throw a big party this time because what we're gonna do instead is tomorrow, Prim and Jacob are gonna go on a mountain climbing excursion. I know we did this before, but it's been a little while and Prim actually woke up with a want to hike to Mount Comrebi and I felt like it was perfect little like birthday treat for her. It will help her with her rock climbing skill. And I just thought it'd be quite a nice little thing for her to do as kind of a belated birthday gift. We would, we would have done it today, but she's got work um, today and tomorrow. And we've only got three vacation days. So we'll take a vacation day for tomorrow, but for today she's going into work um, and she is actually so close to getting her final final promotion and then she will be she, oh she leaves sad because her mum's gone to work bless her um but then prim will have maxed her career which is so exciting she just needs to get her charisma to level 10 which will easily be able to do i am sure of it um but jacob he is just helping himself out to some breakfast today oh Neve, don't cry don't cry come and go to the toilet and um uh, grab yourself some food we are gonna have to think about neve's skills a little bit because they are not doing too well and she's actually halfway through over halfway through her uh, toddler life stage so luckily luckily on sunday it is new skill day so we get a boost to all skills being performed which we're definitely going to make the most of that <laughs> um but i think it'd be nice for jacob to spend a bit of time with neve today but i think oh no i need to leave that i was going to put it away um but neve needs to eat but i think jacob is going to come and make a cake can we make um a blue cake is he good enough to make a blue cake? I don't think he is, that's a shame. We'll just do a chocolate cake instead. Jacob, come finish your cake. He's just, no, he just stopped halfway through to go and practice playing piano. You can go do your keyboard afterwards, but make your wife a birthday cake, please. No, the food's just gone off. Don't eat that, Neve. Oh, that's so annoying. There's so much there. We've just wasted that all. Oh, maybe come grab some pancakes instead. Here we go, Prem's birthday cake. It is gonna keep for a little while, so I'm gonna leave it out, but I've made sure to put candles on so no one tries to eat it. And have these pancakes actually spoiled? Oh, she's already, no, is this girl ever gonna eat? For a kid that's gonna grow up and love food, she is just not eating. Okay, I'm gonna put them in there. No, that's not gonna work, okay. Put it here, come and grab a serving. There we go. You've got 22 minutes to finish eating these and hopefully they won't go off. Neve has finally eaten, thank goodness. Oh, Jacob, why don't you come and give her a hug? She is still feeling a little bit sad. Wait, she's sad up here, but playful down there. I don't understand. Um, come and give her a hug and make her feel better. And then why don't you play with her for a little bit? Get that motor skill up, but also it will boost her fun. And it's just a cute little interaction, isn't it? We should probably get her dressed as well, but no, look at him with this little girl. That is so sweet. Why don't you also come and change her into an outfit for us? Oh, look. I love this interaction. Look at him playing with her. Can I get some screenshots? I've given him the wrinkles. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I've given Jacob a few wrinkles considering the fact he is now um, in his 40s. And Prim's going to have to get some wrinkles off just today. As well. and she will also be in her 40s. How is little Rudy doing? We did go on a walk with him yesterday. I did play one day off camera. 
Um, we did go on a jog with him and we've been giving him nice attention. I hope he's doing all right. But I'm looking forward to when Neve is a bit older and she can she can give him some attention as well. Yeah. I think we're also going to do some flashcards with Neve because, as I say, her thinking skill is quite low. Um, so it will give her a chance to develop her thinking a little bit. I'm, I'm impressed she didn't defy. I was fully expecting her to be a bit defiant. But we're all good. How is Perm doing at work today? She is doing really well. She obviously won't get her promotion because she's not got her career, to, her career her charisma to level 10 but that is fine we will work on that over the weekend oh in regards to prim and jacob having another baby the general sort of consensus and my personal opinion is that no we're not gonna have another baby not intentionally at least obviously if it happens it happens we'll roll with it but we are gonna keep prim on her birth control and we're not gonna actively try because it makes sense for Neve and her generation that she will be an only child because it's the whole point is that she's supposed to kind of grow up with her dogs as opposed to like where her parents work all the time she grows up with her dogs more than anything else um I, I'm getting distracted by how cute she is <laughs> sorry um but yeah it makes sense but also from and Jacob like we would have to completely change the house up to fit them in and it just I don't think they're ready for it like they are just kind of not struggling but they are still trying to find that balance between family life and work life and to throw another baby into that mix would just completely mess everything up and it would just make it so complicated so we are not going to be trying for another baby it is official it's not intentionally gonna happen if it happens I will make it work but we are not going to actively try from his staying on her birth control. I love that Neve's wants are all to do with Jacob. She wants to ask him for food, be friendly and ask him to show her flashcards. I love that he has been and now she's like, mm, no, I'm going to go go play on my phone. Um, I'm going to bring it in here because I think it she can't access it. So she wanted to call Father Winter. You can go do that, which makes sense because we're in like Mount Comrabi and well, I was going to say it's usually snowy. It's not right now, but... It usually is. <laughs> Just look at her. She is so sweet. I am obsessed with Neve. She, oh, I'm so excited to watch her grow up. I can't believe she's going to be a child. Like, it won't happen in this episode, but it will be in the next episode. She ages up on Monday. This is the last full episode with Neve as a toddler. Jacob needed to work on his guitar skill for his job. So I have bought him a guitar. He is not very good. But I love how he's here playing guitar. And then you've got Neve in her bedroom playing with her little xylophone. Look at them, so musical. We've not got very long until Prim actually gets home. I'm thinking, I don't think we'll throw a party. I think we will literally just invite uh, Tabitha, Jonah and Layla over just as normal guests, not as a whole big big thing we did only have everyone over the other day so yeah we'll keep it nice and casual at this time because the main celebration for prim's birthday is obviously going to be climbing the mountain prim has just got back home she is feeling great um one of our some people we know wants to try for a baby do you know what i feel like prim she kind of wants a kid but she knows she shouldn't so she's gonna she's a little bit broody even though she knows she's not gonna have more kids she's like yeah you go for it <laughs> live through her friends but she wants to come be friendly to jacob so why don't you come in and gaze lovingly i think that's actually romantic instead of friendly but that's fine we're gonna come and do that and then we will invite over um where is everyone there's jonah oh but they're still being super flirty that's oh it counted it counted excellent oh and look at Neve. i know she's like playing in the cabinets but i love the fact it's like in the kitchen cabinets and she had like a little frying pan it's like foreshadowing her future <laughs> jonah has arrived how are you doing jonah we are going to have a little bit of a chat with him maybe compliment his outfit everyone else is arriving so here they are Oh look, here's Layla. She'll be aging up soon too. I forgot because she's a day older, so she'll be aging up on Sunday. I'll make sure that she's um been given like a nice makeover and everything. But everyone is here now, so we are gonna come and make a wish. Layla has come over to talk to Neve. That's so sweet. They've actually got a fair amount of their friendship. I don't want to miss this. It is Neve. It's Prim's birthday. Oh no, I'm in the wall. Here we go, she's blown out her candles. She missed, but we've got people singing for her, which is really sweet. And there we go. Prim is becoming an adult. Oh, and Jacob just threw some confetti. Are we seriously going outside? Are you seriously going outside to age up? Just, just age up here. Oh, she's going outside. She's taken her slippers off. She's putting her boots on. Are we going all the way around? Yep, we're going all the way around. 
We're going all the way around just to age up. Why could we not age up in the house? Oh, here we go. Frim has aged up. She is an adult now. She looks no different, um, but we will be giving her some wrinkles. But here she is. Oh, 40 year old Prim. I can't believe it. I can't believe she's an adult. We're going to invite everyone to come and grab a slice of cake together and we'll celebrate together this evening. Prim's fun is really low, so maybe she and Jacob can do a bit of um bit of birthday woohoo this evening. I think Jonah's helped himself to hamburger cake instead of the chocolate cake that was actually here, as you do. Um, but Neve, she is going to come and take herself to sleep because she's feeling pretty exhausted while uh, these two stay up and entertain their guests for a little bit. Oh, Prim's just here chatting with her family. This is so sweet. We are gonna, um, why don't we come and tell a group story about a fairy tale about a princess. Uh, Neve is asleep, so we'll just tell it to these two because they're there. What is Jacob doing? He is going to talk. Jonah is just stood in the hallway, as you do. Um, they will probably have to go home soon, even though Jacob's needs are doing really well. I don't know why he's like, needs are so strong today. Um, but we are going to have to make sure that Prim is ready for the excursion tomorrow. I have set it for 12, but maybe I should set it a bit sooner. I might set it a bit sooner, actually. Instead of 12, we'll go for nine. Prim is gonna have to take a vacation day for tomorrow. Uh, can Jacob also take a vacation day, please? There we go, ready for tomorrow. Um, he might come actually play a bit more guitar for a little bit. Just come and practice. And look at Layla using the phone. I think the next time we go to work, we are going to get a promotion because this is almost max, like all the way to the top. And our charisma is, half, oh, I was going to say halfway through. It's not quite halfway through, um, but it is doing really well. So I think we could get a promotion next week. Jonah and Tabitha are both gone. I think Layla's gone as well. I can't see her anywhere, but I didn't get a notification that she left. So I, met, I guess uh, Jonah took her, but these, they have all headed off now. So I think once Prim has finished washing up, I think they might head upstairs and have a little bit of birthday woohoo. Prim is desperate for some fun. Um, so I think I'll let them, let them go upstairs to do that. And then we will come back in the morning when it is time for our excursion. We're up bright and early this morning and I've noticed that Jacob has now woken up with a one to also hike the Mount Komorebi summit. So that is perfect timing. He is gonna have some breakfast. Um, Prim is just getting herself sorted upstairs. She wants to express her devotion, bless her. Um, we are gonna say that Neve is gonna stay over with Uncle Jonah. Um, <laughs> I know that's always where, where she's off to, but it makes sense. I mean, she, I think she's got quite a decent relationship with them. So she's gonna stay with them, but I think she is going to come and grab some breakfast this morning so that her needs are doing all right before we head off for the weekend. We have got an hour until the excursion. I think Jacob's climbing kit is great and Prim's is good. Okay, that's all right. That's It's not great, but it's good. That's That would do. That would do. <laughs> okay, we have arrived and we're starting our mountain excursion. I've actually forgot how long this takes to do, but we're going to give it our best shot. Prim is here at the moment, just checking her readiness. We're going to do some stretching. Jacob, you can also do some stretching. They're being really loud. I'm also kind of hoping that we might end up with some inclement weather as we get closer to the top, and then we can do some rock climbing and hopefully get this part of our aspiration ticked off. I'm not 100% sure if we will because it is summer and it's not like winter. And oh, that's not a good start, is it, Jacob? <laughs> um, but I'm really hoping it might potentially become inclement. Um, well, he's she's got a rock climbing up to level seven. She hasn't even started rock climbing yet. But there we go. She is starting to climb and Jacob is not far behind. And then we'll head on to the next. She fallen already. She literally fell already. I've just realised I forgot to actually put their um their rock climbing gear on. So we should probably make sure that is on. Why can't I click Jacob's? Prem actually managed to climb all the way to the top without um having her rock climbing gear on. So I'll make sure that she actually puts that on now. Um, Jacob, you can also come and put your rock climbing gear on. I can completely forgot to do that that's completely my own fault so we are gonna then head on to the next part of the excursion yeah that was completely my bad they've got their they've got their rock climbing gear on now so hopefully they will not hurt themselves we are gonna head straight over we don't need to worry about camping or anything their needs are doing really really well i don't think we need to stop for anything so we are gonna come and um, one time we'll do some more climbing courageously. We probably will rest as well once we get um, get to this area just to kind of tick this part of the 
requirements off. Jacob is feeling super focused. It says passable preparation from rock climbing skill and Mount Comrabi base camp from a gold medal mountain climb start. A journey begins with a single step and a mountain climb begins with reaching base camp successfully and natural born climber from rock climbing. The tough route was no match for Jacob and he even threw in some pretty flashy moves. Excellent. And I think Prim is feeling the exact same ready as ever. And look at that jump. Look at her go. Prim has nicely made it to the top. Look at her go. She is feeling great about all of this. There's no mountain spirits this time. That is fine. Um, we, as I say, we don't need any food yet, which is okay. There's not really much we can do here to kind of rest for an hour. Maybe they can go woohoo. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go woohoo for a little bit because we've got to rest for an hour. So we might as well do something with our time. And we know that they love a public woohoo anyway. So, um, and that peak focus from being around a motivating sim. Oh, that's so sweet. If they got mountain mastery inspiration oh they've got it for each other jacob admires primrose's skill on the mountain with that kind of role model to motivate jacob he might learn skills faster while primrose is around oh that would be really really beneficial how is her uh, prim's rock climbing doing it's on level seven um so hope hopefully we can get it to level eight today we'll have to see we probably should have done this sunday on skill day but that's fine prim is resting by having a nap and jacob is working on his guitar skill which i mean that's fine with me we'll make the most of the time while we have to rest because i would like to get kind of a gold um oh he likes guitar amazing yeah um so i would like to try and get this and i'm not sure we probably should have done that before we actually climbed up this part inspect the wall conditions can we do it from the top i don't know i'm gonna have jacob see if he can do that nice prim's just earned almost two thousand simoleons on her day off that is perfect um but we can't actually inspect the conditions from up here so i'm gonna actually have prim climb it down and then inspect the conditions and climb back up because we've got ages in this area and i would like to see if we can get gold in every single section that we can plus it means she's going to work on her rock climbing skill even more which is perfect but she is getting a little bit hungry now so um i might have jacob can he come and maybe prepare some food just do some um garden salad just a family size we don't need anything big but just kind of tide us over for a little bit until the next section because i realized i didn't actually bring any food we have got one lot of hot soup i think <laughs> that is it so we'll eat while we can i think um, but yeah, Prim is climbing down, then she'll inspect the conditions and then climb back up courageously. So chance of a successful climb is high, which is great. I mean, we've already climbed it successfully, but she's having a go again <laughs> just to get straight back up to the top. And we were able to get our gold, which is perfect. Jacob, how long does it take to do a salad? Can you please hurry up? We are getting a bit hungry now. Oh my gosh, Jacob, he is just throwing the salad everywhere. I thought you were better than this. Please, can you finish the salad? I swear you've been doing this for ages. Prem has climbed down the mountain, inspected the conditions and climbed back up before you even finished a salad oh my goodness just please prim has got some fame excellent everyone is thrilled they've made it this far amazing i can't remember what point we're at oh, shame we don't have our handiness up i think we still got a couple more parts but it's looking pretty intense as a blizzard does this count as inclement weather but oh my goodness have us and eat something oh did we really okay jacob why don't you come see if there's anything here come and grab um just grab some granola quickly he is obsessed with this guitar while prim just wants to go do some climbing before you do could you just come and inspect the conditions really quickly and then you can come and um climb it cautiously we we can't do it courageously for some reason i assume because of the uh the actual weather is quite intense. Hopefully we can get this ticked off. That would be amazing if we could. Jacob, stop playing your guitar and climb this mountain. Okay, we, he can't come here. Jacob can't climb it courageously either, but that is fine. We might not get gold, but that is okay. That is fine. He is finally giving this a go of actually climbing it. Prim's just up here waiting. She's like, come on. Been here for a little while now. Why don't you come and... Um, oh, is there anything we can do over here? Can you come and search for signs of past climbers look at her running <laughs> i don't even know if that counted uh successfully complete high intensity it's that's really annoying i i thought it might count because it's a blizzard and she did climbing so i'm pretty sure the next bit is the final bit and if i don't know if there's any more rock climbing bits once we reach the top 
So again, maybe I should have Prim climb down and then climb back up it again just to see if it counts, but I don't know why it wouldn't. I might actually have her do that. We're here for ages and her needs are doing really well, so I mean, she might climb down and then climb back up it again. Primrose finds mad rantings of a climber who got stuck on the mountain. Primrose's mountaineer trait helps her recognise dangers hinted at the ramblings so that Prim can avoid the same fate. Amazing. So she's feeling super focused and that won't be me from being a cool cu from being a cool cucumber. So she is going to come and actually climb back down and then climb back up because I thought this would count. I thought freezing. Oh, she's found some forest spirits. Come on, come make a wish. Let's not capture them again. She's going to make a wish. Look at this. They gave her a hundred simoleons. How sweet. Jacob is going to do some investigating as well while Prim climbs back down the mountain and then comes straight up. I think, yeah, it is a blizzard. So surely this counts. Surely this counts. It's when there's icy conditions or thunder snow. I don't know if... It's freezing and it's a blizzard. Why does that not count? That's such a shame. I was really hoping it would. Hauntingly, otherworldly voices co coalesce? I have no idea what that word means. Around Jacob. He braces himself for a life-changing revelation. Great knowledge from beyond the veil, perhaps? Jacob is greatly disappointed to discover the voices are just exchanging gossip. It's not even good gossip about what Jacob knows. Oh, now he's bored. Seriously, that's it. Can you maybe investigate a side tunnel instead? Yeah, I have a feeling this isn't gonna count, so we're gonna have to try and do it um, for when we go skiing instead. That is such a shame. Oh well, okay, we're gonna come and gather over here, ready for once Jacob has finished doing his bit of exploring. I am so gutted that we can't, we couldn't have it have her climb courageously and it didn't count for um, inclement weather. Oh well, we've still got time, but either way, she is, she's doing well. She's working on her rock climbing. Has it improved at all? It has, we're at 53% now. Jacob kicks a gathered mound of snow and notices a few mail packages. It's a mystery as to how these ended up here. One package has a pair of orange and yellow wings found in three blue rings. Jacob chooses not to open that package as it feels somehow mysterious, but he does open the other. There is a nice new decor decorative art item to take home. And Prim has found, did Prim find more? I think she must have found more, but I was too busy reading to do anything about it. Yes, we made it to the top. We did it. There's a snowman. I think they did this from before, I think. But yes, we can come up here and kind of chill out as long as we need. We're just going to kind of replenish our, um, our needs. We don't really, as I say, we don't really need anything. Maybe we should actually sleep here for the night. Is there somewhere we can sleep? There is a tent. I think they're going to sleep here for the night because it is 1am um jacob does have work at five o'clock tomorrow but that is fine um we are gonna stay the night we have made it to the top which is amazing it's a shame we couldn't get off the things i wanted to but that's okay we have climbed the mountain again these two are just enjoying their salad together this evening um and then they're gonna have a bit of a sleep in the tent i think but i might actually end the episode here thank you so much for watching oh look at this lighting doesn't prim look stunning i'm gonna end the episode here thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think and if you haven't already please do subscribe it would mean so much to me and i will speak to you all in another video bye everyone